Hey guys, this video is going to walk you through how to do a, a few basic things. One, uh, add 3D text. Another is save your project as an animation file. Uh, it'll have the extension .an8 at the end. That means you can open the file back up and rework on the file. Maybe, uh, it's good for if, let's say you're halfway done with a project uh, and you want to save it, you can reopen it later. Uh, or maybe you're working on a project at home and you're stuck on it and want to send it to someone else like your teacher, me, uh, you can send it to me uh, and I can take a look at it. Uh, the third is uh, I want you to know how to render an image. Alright, so let's get started. So here's a project uh, I made before uh, and there's one of my videos showing you how to make this one. It's a bowl and a plate. It's basically a pottery assignment. We use the spline and lathe tool uh, to make these objects. I'm an ortho view. I'm going to change to front view because that's the view I use to make the project. Alright, from here click on the text tool, click anywhere on the screen, I'm going to type my name. Alright, there it is. Go to build, extrude, and you can change the length uh, segments uh, and all this sort of stuff as well. I'm going to click OK. Let's use arc rotate to see how everything looks. Oh, there we go. Names in 3D. Perfect, just like I wanted. All right. Next, uh, how to save it as an animator file. File, save as. That's it. Give it a title, press save. Uh, and at that point, you can email the file to yourself. Let's say if you're working on a computer at school you want it to you want to finish it at home you can email it to yourself or if you use Google Drive you can throw it in there or Dropbox uh, and that way you can access the same file from home and finish the project uh, same goes for if you're working on a file at home and you want to bring it to school it works the same way alright the last thing I want to show you is how to render an image as a JPEG uh, I like the view it's at right now you can you know move it a little bit uh, I want my students to turn it in so I can see the inside of the assignment. And I also want to be able to see that the, uh, the text is in 3D. Uh, if, you, if you made the assignment kind of small, if you made the project kind of small, you can go over here to the object viewpoint tool, click on that, and you can go down here to the zoom view and zoom in and out and try to make it fill the screen. And you could use the move tool if you want to move the perspective down here and use the zoom tool again to make it fill the screen. Alright? Bigger the better. Now we want to render it. So I'm going to click render, render image. And we'll leave it as is. I'm going to have this turned off because normally it does turn off on most of uh, your computers probably. That's 400 by 300. Click OK. So it's pretty small. Uh, I'm going to go back in the image. I'm going to double the size. I'm going to make it 600. I'm sorry. 800 by 600. Click OK. All right, much better. Now I can go back in the image again. Maybe I want I want to add a background color. There you go. One thing you may notice is these edges are kind of choppy. So I'm going to go back and image again, click on anti-alias, and you'll watch as everything gets smoothed over a little bit. All right, cool. All right, so I think I'm done, and I want to save it as an image. To do that, I'm going to click on this save right here. If I go up to File and Save, it will save it as a full project, which you can open back up, but that's not what we want uh, for this save. So go to this save, choose JPEG, click on this little box to choose the location of where you want to save it. I'm just going to save mine on the desktop for now and I'm going to call mine pottery plus my initials. I'm going to click save and then click OK. And we can we can test out that image too. It's right here. So if I click on it, it should open up just like that. 
All right, cool. That's it. If you have any questions, let me know.